John 11, 25, 28, 11, 25, 26. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ speaking, he says, I am the resurrection and the life. Whosoever believes in me shall never die. It's a work of faith. You believe in him. You accept him. And I say to you that the confession is simple, but the change comes in the true repentance, in the true acceptance. You have a lot of, I believe, I believe. But it does not come from the heart. I believe, I believe. Forgive me, forgive me. But there's no repentance. That is not being born again. When you are born again, it comes with a change. A change. The change must be evident. You've been, you've known him two, three years, five years, and your life has not changed. Nothing changed about you. There's nothing wrong with your Christianity. Because if you are genuinely born again, there will be a change. You can point. People will point. People, if it's people that will even first draw attention to you, they will draw attention. They say, ah, it's true. They say, ah, this one, ah, you don't change. Your, ah, you know they do. They say, ah. Then your mind, they say, ah, it's true. You can point to it. The things I used to do, I do them no more. The things I used to do, I do them no more. The things I used to do, I do them no more. There is a great change since I'm born again. Great change since I'm born again. There's a great change since I'm born again. There is a great change. Since I'm born again, there is a great change since I'm born again. And you can itemize them. The lies I used to lie, the this I used to do, the that I used to do. So if you didn't change, I you say you're born again. I'm sorry, there is something wrong with your born again. We must all go to the Lord in sincerity and in truth. When you are sincere and truthful, that change will come to play. That change will come to pass. That change will be evident for all to see. It will be evident because Revelation 3.20, Revelation 3.20 says, If any man open the door, I will come into him. The door of your heart. The door of your heart. In the children evangelism ministry, we teach them in colors. Red, black, green white are the dominant colors we say to them your heart used to be black if you don't know jesus very very black black and we take the color black and we show them you see your heart used to be something like this black 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 but then when you accept christ jesus as your personal lord and savior the color red we come to play the red in the blood of Jesus, like this, right? On your heart, we wash it clean and give you white, a white heart. And that white heart, we now give room to color green, green like this. And we know green is for fruitfulness, green is for abundance, green is a factor, a color that is associated with productivity. Your life will become more productive. But at that state where your heart is black, we represent it in the animals, with animals. Your heart is full with things like the snake. That's the viper. You know, the snake is venomous, wicked. It's stinking. <laughs> is it stink now? Yes, the snake stinks. Lion, fighting, be fighting, fighting, fighting. Tortoise, all those things, animals and their characteristics, you see, that is what is embedded in the heart. But when Christ Jesus comes in, it is washed away. And the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords comes in. And that black heart like this becomes white as this. The black gives way to this. After the color red has washed it clean. And so this morning, we present Jesus to you. 
And we say to you, like we say to the children, allow Christ in. Allow Christ in. And it comes with that simple confession. If you are just joining us, you may repeat it again after me. Say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin. Have mercy on me. The minute you have said that, that is all. Your sins are forgiven. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. May his countenance of favor, of goodness, never leave us all. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Having said that prayer, you have need of the word of God. Get the Bible, a book Bible. The Android Bible is good. What that does is you download the audio, audio free audio Bible. You are driving, you play it, you are washing, you are cooking. Because your hands are busy and you can't sit down. Use the audio Bible to redeem the time. But to study, you need the book Bible. The Android can be there for references. But if you are just a beginner, we will advise seriously that you get a Bible, a book Bible, and a daily devotional. Stick to the daily devotional. Use it to just sit, study, read. When you finish that, you want more, you can now go to the Android. Why we say so is because of so much distractions. If you are not yet disciplined and you are, you are not yet strong, you say, I want to use my phone to study, you'll be distracted. Before you want to turn here, you'll bring you this one, bring you down, and bring you this one, and you'll be distracted. So stay focused with the book Bible. And as you do that, you grow in the Lord. Don't miss Sunday school. Find a Bible believing church to attend if you don't yet have one. And if you have one, you are not yet serious, please be serious. Go to the Lord in prayer. And he will never, never leave you. He will give you joy. He will give you peace. He will give you life everlasting. He will give you all that is good. Don't leave him. Stay focused. Find a pastor. Stay. Of course, on the social media, so much is happening. But it doesn't mean that all pastors are fake. No. Here there is the bad. It means that they are trying to copy a genuine. They are trying to copy that which is good, that which is proper. And so we are saying to you, be focused. Be focused. Refuse to be intimidated. Refuse to be carried away. Refuse to give in. Refuse to give up. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. May his containers of favor and of mercy never leave us. We'd like to urge you to visit our YouTube channel, Church on the Air, Banner of Love Mysteries International. Church on the Air, Banner of Love Mysteries International. We have a lot of, lots of, lots of, lots of messages loaded, daring for you. Visit it. Church on the Air, Banner of Love Mysteries International. Subscribe. When they used to say subscribe, I used to think maybe they, they are asking you to pay for it. No. It's simply saying when you subscribe, it, it's like following so that when there are new notifications, it will come to you. You are not paying anything. You are not paying for it. Be a part of it. Share. 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 When you share, you'll be blessed by it because you are giving others an opportunity to, to hear the word. On Facebook, we have five vibrant pages. Search the scriptures. When you pray and I pray, ministers of the church, church on the air, Check the account, Banner Love account. Edith Atake, you'll find them there. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake. God bless you very, very much for listening to us. It is well with you, well with us all, in the mighty name of Jesus. We urge you to share the message. It's not only us. We are being bombarded daily with so many messages, pornography, from the other side, we can do a return match. We can dominate the air space. On Facebook, as you paste on the various uh, handles, social media handles, post the word, post the word, post the word. Because I'm not a pastor. I can't. Mm -mm. On your phone, they have beautiful daily Bible devotions. Download the one you like. 
each day they'll give you a verse of scripture they just share it comes like a picture from with the word on it share then you see other messages that you like share and then some of you are fond of pinning the word pinning the word you have a bible inscription instead of leaving it a uh, uh, public for others to share you pin it why do you pin it why do you pin the word of god you can pin your private pictures pin them let nobody use them but the word don't pin them let it go let others be able to share them then there are lots of daily devotionals around don't say it's only my church devotional no if there's any word that you like share let's not put only our pictures on social media no when we came on air on the social media they said you are posting the word sharing the word if you check our original banner of love um, account banner love account you see they were just loading messages messages anyone that is good we load it we share it we have such the scriptures when we pray and i pray we post prayer messages there nation building messages related to nation we're just posting them then occasionally so my my children i post the pictures we didn't come on for picture's sake don't use the social media just for yourself you smile hmm? you're with a dog hmm? you're with a cat hmm? you're with a, a, a you're lying down hmm? some people even when they are sleeping hmm? some with net no don't do that if you want to do that do it but after that post the word share the word post the word share the word let's dominate the cyber space for jesus let's bombard the air the net with jesus as they bombard us with pornography and so we are saying to you in this clip that receiving christ jesus is very very important and if you do your life can never never remain the same again the takeaway is that being born again comes with a change if you are out there two five years you say you are born again no change something is wrong with your christianity go back to the lord tell him lord i want a divine encounter i want to meet you one to one God break me, he will break you up. When he break you up, your life can never, never remain the same again. In our first clip, we say to you, Mourn, more about Jesus. Mourn, more about Jesus. More of his saving fullness. See, more of his work who died for me. It's just more about Jesus, nothing else. So if you find that all you are looking for is money, 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 something is wrong with you. All you want is a party, 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 something. That Christianity, no beyond. You have not yet gotten the right one. Go to him and say, God, touch me. God, touch me. God, renew me. God, I want to know you more. More, more of you. And he will show you. He will speak to you. He will reveal himself to you. A lot of us, generally, all oh, we did a lot of fastings. We have just finished the first quarter. Want to enter the second quarter, quarter of the year, as you do. Let it not be about cars, money, this, no. All those things will fade away. But if you know Jesus, they will come to you. The first thing is to know him first. Know him for whom he is. And everything else will be added to you. My name is Pastor Mrs. C.D. Tataka, Genova, Siavana, from Mrs. International. Do check our YouTube channel. Subscribe, share the word. God bless you. Thank you very much for streamlining with us god bless you a very happy good day to you the lord bless you the lord keep you these containers of favor and of mercy never leave us all having accepted christ jesus i assure you i assure you i am very very sure i speak from an experiential point of view that as you pick up the bible and you make the bible your standard of living your life can never never remain the same again don't look at the pastor don't look at the pastor's wife. Don't follow what they are saying on the social media to say, no, I won't follow Jesus again. No. Leave all those ones. On that day, every man will stand for himself. Every man will give an account for himself. Stand with Jesus. Keep faith with Jesus. God bless you. Thank you very much.